Hello everyone, welcome to another video, my name is Philip, also known as PSRPS Enough. Today we are doing a video about the demo scene highlights of the year of 2010. Hopefully in under 10 minutes I'm going to try to be brief, show you as many demos as possible within this time frame. So when we're talking demo scene we usually have to talk about the big parties which in 2010 were uh, Breakpoint and Assembly. Breakpoint was the last edition of Breakpoint in 2010. Uh, there's a long tradition in the demo scene of having a big eastern party and Breakpoint was uh, a very big one. So a lot of good releases came out in Breakpoint, I'm going to highlight a few of them. First off is Akadala Wampu by Loonies, it won uh, the 4K Amiga compo, uh, it was really good, got a lot of positive feedback, even got nominated for Scene.org award, uh, looked pretty nice as you can see on the video here. And then on uh, the PC demo combo, we had a couple interesting surprises as well. Uh, one of my personal favorites was the return of Satori to releasing demos with uh, Woka Wardoai, whatever the hell this means. Uh, really cool to see uh, Zden and, and Raiden doing uh, stuff again. We was really excited to see them and they're still active uh, nowadays after, after that brief period. So really cool. Uh, another couple of good entries that were on the on the demo compo for the PC was uh, Rove by Farbrouch. Uh, 2010 was a pretty good year for Farbrouch. They released like four uh, releases, uh, pretty good stuff. They had been a little bit inactive, uh, but in 2010 they put out some good releases again. Uh, Rove got nominated for a lot of Sinorg Awards, didn't win anything though, uh, because Agenda Circling 4th was the winning demo of Breakpoint 2010, and it took home a lot of Sinorg Awards as well. It, got, it took home the best demo, uh, the best effects, and the best technical achievement award. Also a little bit of controversy with, some, uh, uh, with the soundtrack from uh, Varia that sampled a lot of uh, sources which, uh, well, it was obvious but some people saw, thought that it was like ripping commercial tracks and couldn't really get the grasp behind the remix culture that it came from. Uh, but very cool release and uh, Fairlight and CNCD had been in the peak of their game at this point. Uh, another uh, the group that came back from inactivity was How Job. Uh, they released the minor release at Breakpoint, but then at Geek Scan Dance 2010, they released this invitation for Evoke 2010 called You Should. It's really good, great graphics, some small effects, very cohesive demo, and really great to see How Job back in the demo scene uh, doing some cool releases. Uh, another group that was uh, back, or actually with high releases, it was Razer to 1911. Uh, they were still releasing some crack trolls and stuff like that, but they hadn't been releasing like a demo scene full focused uh, release in quite a while. They did that with Insert No Coins, uh, which actually featured Rez doing uh, some OpenGL code that he had been learning for uh, a few, uh, I think a year or two before for uh, re putting this out. Um, he was originally a musician, very famous musician in the demo scene and made his transition into being an OpenGL uh, shader based colder. Uh, and this release got a lot of uh, got a lot of attention. Uh, they even won the Public's Choice Award for the scene.org, which became a little bit controversial. A lot of people saying that it was because they had the Razer 1911 name behind it and not really worth it. They just appealed to their internet buddies to uh, skew the voting, but that that's what public choice is about. It's like, majority of people who vote, they get to decide who wins. Anyways, at uh, Assembly Demo Party, we had an, a very interesting compo as well. Uh, I want to name a few releases. The second place was Ceasefire All Falls Down by CNCD and Ferrolite again, but this time with soundtrack by, by Hans, which is personally a favorite of mine. I love Hans's sounds. Uh, for a long time and he never had a f bloody demo soundtrack like he always been doing track music releases for since whenever early 90s uh, so i always considered him a senior and then when he put out when uh, uh, smash and desktop and louis used his soundtrack for this people were like oh they're using commercial music no hans is a demo scene musician has been for ages no one has just used his music because he's from Australia and there's not that much active scene in Australia. 
unfortunately. Uh, there's a, a few parties are starting to pick up now again, but which is great, but at the time no one had been using Young's music and this demo really blew me apart. Uh, but they got second place because on first place was Happiness is Around the Bend. Um, another assembly winner demo from uh, uh, Andromeda Software Development. They've been uh, doing it for a very long time, always winning assembly. Uh, this one ended up also having a couple of remixes, one of them actually featuring some sounds of mine, some more experimental stuff, uh, the Anoxia Redux version. And they also had uh, a very interesting uh, rework w later on uh, called In Soviet Russia Bent is Around the Happiness because on some drivers of a Radian card, I believe, um, the things would not happen as they were supposed to and all the geometry was a bit screwed up and they just made a recording of that and released a wild entry of that which was awesome some people call it the best version of uh, the demo i i have to disagree of course the one with my music is the best version of the demo anyways on with the releases of 2010 in evoke 2010 we had a very interesting first place final finally inside by still uh, it's like a rework of a previous demo that they had released, I believe it was in Breakpoint. And actually that previous demo featured my music as well, which was glitch and like dystopian and very dark kind of stuff. And this one was more like breakbeat in your face, but it still featured pretty much the same theme of like Big Brother is watching you and big city dystopian kind of thing. A uh, really cool version, ended up being nominated for a couple of uh, Synarch Awards and even won Best Direction. So really cool to see still uh, getting some recognition for the, the release that they've been putting out, which 2010 was a nice uh, presence of. Another interesting release that came out and wrapping up this video is Kedak or Sedak by Quite and Orange. Uh, Quite is, was a new group at the time. They had released a couple of releases, all of them looking pretty interesting. And then they made this collaboration with Dune of Orange doing the, the sound. And it's a 4K and it looks kick-ass and it sounds kick-ass and it all blends together so well. And it's like a total trip. Ended up getting nominated for a ton of awards and winning the best 4K intro uh, scene.org uh, award for that. And also won Chaos Constructions 2010 combined. Uh, intro compo. So so yeah, this was the video for 2010. Let me know if I missed one of your favorite uh, entries for the demo scene in 2010. Put your comments below. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that jazz. See you next video. Bye bye everyone. Take care.